What's up, YouTube? This is BystanderX79. Alright, guys, today I'm going to be coming to you with my latest tech profile video for January 2020. And today's tech profile, we're going to be looking at my Code Talker deck build. Alright, Code Talkers are pretty much the Link Frames anime protagonist deck. Alright, so they constantly are getting new support with every core set, as well as some very interesting promos that have been released along the lines as well and I can tell you right now as time goes by in the Link Frames era the deck's gonna continue to get better and better and better all right so my particular build focuses primarily more on a bit more going for an OTK utilizing the Cyanet Fusion as well as Cyber's Clock Dragon however this deck can play go going first, it can extra link, and it can set up a pretty interesting board that has negates built into it to protect it. So, without further ado, we're going to get right into this deck. Okay, start with the monsters. We're going to start off with two copies of Backup Secretary. Backup Secretary is a very awesome card in this deck. Primarily, as long as you control another Cyber's monster, you can special summon her from your hand. More bodies in the field means more plays can open up for you in the long run. You can only summon one backup secretary per turn, but heck, one is all you need at a lot of time. Okay. Next up, we got three copies of Balancer Lord. Balancer Lord is an awesome card. Whenever it's normal summon you can, or special summon, you can turn around and pay a thousand light points and get an additional normal summon on top of that of a Cyburst monster right from your hand. All right, if Cyber Balancer Lord right here is ever banished, you can special summon a Cyburst monster from your hand right to the field, and it pairs very well with Side Knight Backdoor, which we'll be taking a look at in a bit. All right, Boot Stagger. Level 5 monster, pretty damn awesome monster as well. Um, whenever it inflicts battle damage to your opponent, you get a token, which is a level 1 monster, and that can help build in up more boards because it gives you an extra body. Alright. Two copies of Clock Wyvern. Clock Wyvern is pretty necessary in this deck, considering that you have to utilize it as a fusion material for Cyber's Clock Dragon. Um, but it also has an awesome ability. You can cut his attack power in half and special summon a token, again, giving you that extra body on the field to do more plays. Alright. Then we got three copies of Cold Radiator. Cold Radiator is one of the more awesome cards um, that were, was released within the last year. Cold Radiator, what it does, it allows you to utilize itself as a link material from your hand when summoning, link summoning a Cold Talker monster, which is huge. Use it from the hand, you can target one of your opponent's monsters that can be targeted, and you can bottom out that monster's attack. This allows you to easily go into an OTK if you can go get into your Cyber's Clock Dragon. All right, if this card is linked summoned for a Kotaka monster off the field, you can target two of your opponent's monsters instead, which is just awesome. All right. Dotscaper. This is a pretty damn awesome um, like a Cyber's monster. Basically, whenever it's into the graveyard, you can special someone from to the field, giving you that extra body. If it's banished, you also get it back on the field. You can only utilize one effect per turn, and you can only use both effects once per duel. So, once you've utilized both effects, yeah, it's pretty much doesn't do anything else, but it does help you build your board, so that's why it's here at 1. Fresh off the limited list to 3 copies, Lady D Bug has returned. Normal Special Summoner out, and you're getting a level 3 or lower Cybers monster from your deck to your hand. She is an amazing, powerful opening play, and she needs to be in the deck, and she adds just an extra layer of consistency um, moving forward. Alright. And one of the cards you should be thinking of searching off of Lady Debug's effect would be one of the three copies of Microcoder. Microcoder is just like Code Radiator in which you can utilize this card as Link Material from your hand if you're Link Summoning out a Code Torque Monster. The really awesome thing about um, Microcoder is primarily because whenever it is sent from the hand or field to the graveyard, you can search your deck for a Cyanet spell or trap to add to your hand. So that allows you to access your support cards very easily. I mean, you could also search out another level 4 Cyber's Monster, but typically you're going to be wanting to search out your support cards. Alright. 
continuing to move forward. Three copies of Ash Blossom, pretty standard in most builds. Um, that builds it this right now because it just interrupts so much. All right. Let's mention this with Balance of Lords, Sign Net Backdoor. Basically, you target a Cybers monster you control on the field. You can search your deck for a Cybers monster with an attack equal to or lower that than the target monster's attack, which is actually pretty cool. And then you banish it. And if you banish it utilizing Balance of Lord, you can actually search your card and then special summon it right to your hands. Uh, right to the field, which is awesome. Oh, man. Three copies of Sinet Codec. This is actually a pretty awesome consistency card as well. Um, what does it do? Basically, whenever you summon a code token monster, you can search your deck for a Cypress monster with the same attribute as the code token monster. Now, you can only utilize the search once per chain, and you can't search the same attribute multiple times during the turn you use the effect, but still, just being able to access a lot of your different cards by summoning out your code token monsters just works so well. All right. Sinet Fusion, this gets you into your kill play, which is your Cyber's Clock Dragon. Three copies of Sinet Mining, a pretty much necessary card in all Cyber's type decks. Discard a card, search your deck for another Cyber's monster to add to your hand. So, yeah. Sinet Optimization is actually a pretty damn awesome um, continuous spell. Uh, it gives you two different effects. For one thing, it allows you to get get an additional normal summon during your turn, which is just huge. This deck kind of can eat up normal summons, but once we start getting better support, might not, it won't be necessary. The other cool effect is that it basically gives all Cold Turker monsters the same effect that an the Ancient Gear cards have, in which your opponent can't activate anything during the battle phase until after the damage step. Um, very handy effect, and it does work. All right, generic support, Foolish Burial, helps get Dockscaper into the graveyard. Monster Reborn helps you get back a card from your graveyard. One for one, pitch a card, you can get any level one monsters from your deck to the field, that it can be on uh, your Dockscaper, or it can even be your Microcoder. So, very useful card in the deck. Traps, two copies of Cyanite Conflict, this is pretty much the best counter trap that the, that the first deck has. Basically, as long as you control a Code Tarkar monster and your opponent activates a spell, trap, or monster effect, you can banish, you can negate the effect and banish that card and then your opponent cannot activate cards with the same name until the end of the next turn. So awesome. Um, just imagine using this against something like a Hand trap, they basically can't utilize any other hand traps against you. Um, you they try to uh, block you with Solemn Judgment. All of a sudden, now they're short life points, and they can't utilize any other Solemn Judgments for until your next turn, until the end of the, the next turn, which is just sick. Awesome card. All right, and the last but not least, we got a Combat Monster Effect, so we have three copies of Infinite Permanence does the trick while on the field or in the hand, and it just helps shut down key monster effects. All right, so that's the main deck, 40 cards going forward into the extra deck. Two copies of Transcode Talker. All right, it seems odd um, with two Earth Attribute monsters since we only really don't really run that many Earth Attribute monsters in the main deck just yet, but its effect is really uh, worth it, considering that whenever you link somebody, you can target a link three or lower Link Monster in your graveyard and special summon it to a zone it points to. This allows you to open up more plays and build into higher links. Alright. Shooting Code Talker, an awesome water attribute monster, can get you into your Code Radiator, which can actually help you set up your OTK plays. I mean, Shooting Code Talker is no slouch either because um, utilizing this effect, it can attack all your opponent's monsters. So if you manage to bottom out one of your key, your opponent's key monsters, you can actually inflict some pretty big damage on them. All right, it does lose uh, like 400 attack points um, when it does attack using this effect, but still not bad. All right, 
It's Code Talker, helps you search out your winter tribute monsters, very cool. And it can also lock down monsters, empty monster zones on your opponent's field, preventing them from extending plays on future turns. So useful. Alright. Exco Talker. Use this to search out the lighter tripping monsters. Pretty awesome. Can actually render um, monsters unkillable and actually even power them up as well at the same time, which is actually very useful in battle effects. So good to have them around for a bit. We got two copies of Code Talker. Alright, Code Talker is pretty much indestructible as long as it's pointing to another monster. Um, typically, you go into this for a link to play, and then you're building into your higher level, your higher rated links. All right, Link Rebo. Pretty much, we do have token generator cards, and you can utilize those tokens to summon not Karibo. Talkback Lancer can actually tribute off Cyburst monsters and bring back a Code Talker monster with a different name to the zone it points to. Awesome. Alright, we have Security Dragon, Security Dragon, if this card is co link you can bounce a card off your opponent's field, breaking their board, which is just all great. Trigate Wizard, in my opinion, this card should be in every Code Talker deck, regardless whether you're going for an OTK or if you have to go first. It just gives you that extra option of, of a negate and protection and being able to get spot removal on the field. Worth having them in the deck. Alright. And help clear boards, top of the optical Trisbania, goes at the back row decks, which could very well be seen a lot this fo format. Uh, top of the Bomb Bomber Dragon can actually just basically nuke um, your opponent's monsters off the boards, which is actually pretty good. And then of course you have Topological Zerobos, um, can banish all monsters on the uh, off the field, or actually all cards off the field, and then it powers itself up by 200 for every banished card. Um, if it banishes itself, it brings itself back on this on your next turn, and basically any extra monster zone it points to, it locks it down. And your opponent can't use it, which is actually just huge. Um, it can help set up and win games by itself. All right, and then last but not least, we do have Cyber's Clock Dragon. Like I said, this card is just an amazing OTK um, engine, especially paired with Microcorder. Um, once you bottom out your opponent's monsters attack, especially some of this guy out, and basically with the number of lake monsters you send, you add up their ratings, you, dis you mill that many cards from the top of your deck to the graveyard, and this card gains a thousand attack for each card sent. So yeah, you, you get maybe like a, a link rate, combined link rating of maybe six or seven, this card goes up to 9,500 attack, and automatically... Yeah, you're pretty much winning the game at that point. I'm um, swinging into a monster that has its attack bottom out. Um, while there's cards in the field, your opponent can't um, target any other cards on the field with with card effects except for itself. And if it leaves the field, you get any spell card you want from your deck to your hand, which is huge. All right. Guys, that is it for my Code Talker deck profile for January 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this on my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the notification so you don't miss a single upload. Check out the description box below. Find the links to my social media, my Discord server, as well as my TCG Player affiliate link to help support the channel um, and grow the community that is forming around the channel. Alright guys, as always, until next time, peace!